Everybody stand and let us pray. Jane, can you lead the prayer? Good morning, class! Okay, say present if your name is being called. Before you take your seat, kindly pick some piece of paper under your chairs. So, how's your weekend class? That's good. Have you enjoyed your weekend bonding with your family? Okay class, since our lesson for today is about culture, before we start, let us first dance this cultural dance. Okay, very good. That was a lot of fun, right class? Okay, please sit down and get your notebook. I have posted here 20 words. And 10 of them are the words that is related or connected to the word culture. And all you have to do is to write down words that is related to the word culture. Do you understand, class? Okay, very good. So are you done, class? Okay, very good. I am going to collect your notebook later after our lesson. Okay? Okay. Yesterday class, we discussed about the basic components of culture. Let's see if you still remember. We have activity that connected yesterday. Before we start, I read the direction to understand you how to answer. So this is the direction. Given the scrambled words below, you need to arrange the letters to identify basic components of culture. So let's start to answer. Number one, all or why is in B. Who can give the correct answer of this? Yes, Maria. Yes, symbol S, correct. Number two, G U A G E L A N. Josh? Yes, lang language is correct. Number three, M O R N is. Who can give the right answer of this? Mm. Maria? Yes, norms is correct. Number four, is U E L A V. Alvik. Yes, values is correct. The last question is F A C T S A R T I. Who can give the correct answer of this? Yes, Marian. Um. Uh huh. Yes, artifacts is correct. Since all of your classmates got correct answer, please give a round of applause. Now you already know the basic component of culture. Let's have a game. This game is being called Who Am I? And it's like playing a Pinoy Henio. Are you familiar with that game? Okay, so I need one volunteer here in the front to guess the word that I placed on his or her head and then the rest will give the clue to the volunteer is that clear okay so how I volunteer okay let's have bloody now let's give a round of applause to Carlis for getting the word value now this time I wanted you to uh, identify what is value mm-hmm that's very good before we start our discussion, what are we going to do if someone is talking here in front? Very good! What else? Excellent! What else, Desha? Great! How about when you want to go out? Yes, me! Okay, can I expect all that from you, class? Very good. Okay, class. Now, I have here a jumbled words. And you need to arrange it through the help of these words. Okay, so I'm going to give you three seconds for you to be able to arrange this one 
through the help of this. Okay, one, two, three. Now, what do you think is the jumbled words? Yes, Jesse. Wrong. It's not teacher. Okay, anyone? Yes, May. Correct. It is culture. Very good. So now, our lesson for today is about culture. In your own understanding class, what is culture? Culture is belief, behavior, and tradition of people. Okay, that's good. Yesterday, I assigned you by group on reporting, culture, and its basis, important and characteristic. So, let's start with group 1. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, classmate. This is the report of group 1. Culture refers to a group of community which share common experience that shape the way its members understand the world. It includes group that we are born into, such as race, national origin, gender, class, or religion. It can also include a group we join or become a part of. For example, it is possible to acquire a new culture by moving to a change in our economic status or by becoming disabled. When we think of culture this broadly, we realize we all become two many culture at one. Let's give a hand of applause for group one! So let's proceed to group two. The development of culture. Cultural development refers to the strategic planning and implementing of strategies to le leverage communities' unique cultural asset for the economic and cultural benefits for the community as well. So if pre-community is famous for its food festival in the summer, but its winter sledding competition are less well known, appropriate cultural development strategies would find way to boost both events. Continue to make the summer food festival but create awareness for and interest in the winter competition. In other words, a cultural development program makes what your community has to offer accessible. People need to know about it in order to participate. Attractive to tell tourists and local why they should visit and sustainable. What are the best way to showcase your com community's culture that won't negatively affect the community and now and in the years to come? We have three C's of cultural development. Coordinate, connect, and collaborate. Coordinate. Do you ever find that event clash in your community? For example, music festival happen at the same time. Weekend as an art festival, while both events might still be successful individual having to share the spotlight with major community event means that each chapter from having potential viewers, participants and volunteers connect. Having this information at your fingertips is important in creating and implementing a cultural development program, but other stakeholders should have this information too. 3. Collaborate In final phase of your cultural development strategy should involve using the resource you created and incorporating feedback from it used into making it even better. And let's give a hand of applause for group 2. And now, I will discuss the characteristic, basis, and important of culture. Characteristic of culture. Culture has five basic characteristics. It is shared, learned, basic symbol, integrated, and dynamics. All cultures share this basic feature. Culture is unconscious. We learn culture from families, fears, institutions, and medias. 
The process of learning culture is known as incultural, while all humans have basic biological needs such as food, sleep, and sex. The way we fulfill those needs varies cross culturally. Is basis of culture. Cultural, knowledge, belief, language, values, costume, and tradition of specific group of people pass from generation to generation, society, people in defined area, and have a common the importance of culture. The importance of culture, social, and economic benefits with improved learning and health, increased tolerance, and opportunity to come with together. Culture enhance our quality of life, increase our well-being for both individual and community. Okay class, let's proceed to the generalization. Generalization means it is your learning from, from the beginning of our lesson, which is the culture. So I have a four question given to you class and you may answer it individually. And let's start with the number one. Who among you can define culture? Yes, Marie, you may stand for your answer. Yes, that's good. Very good, Marie. Then let's proceed to the number two. What? are the five characteristic of culture yes john paul you may stand your answer okay that's very good john paul clap your hands class and now let's proceed to the number three which is what are the three c's of cultural development yes just me you may stand your answer yes that's correct then let's proceed to the last number which is the number four this answer is this question rather is very important why culture is important as students as a culture or in your own idea yes crystal you may stand for the answer okay that's a good idea crystal let's round of applause please and now let's proceed to the to your activity which is I, I have given to you class the activity is in your own understanding why culture is important you you may write you may write it on not less than 100 words your work is graded below relevance of the topic 20 percent um, grammar especially the grammar class five percent Originality, 5%, the total of 30%, all and all. In our class, I wanted you to make a slogan about culture. And then afterward, we will present it in our class. Is that clear? Okay, and I will give a criteria for judging your slogan. Which is, the relevance for the game is 15%. Originality is 10%, the creativity is 10%, the impact and presentation is 15% to the total of 50%. In evaluation, we have another activity. So, get one whole of sheet of paper and answer. Before we end our lesson for today, we will have assignment regarding with our lesson. You are going to make a reflective essay about your understanding in culture and you will write it in a one-hop sheet of paper. Did you get it class? Okay, that's all for today. Goodbye and God bless.